Hello everyone, um, this video could be a bit of a mixed bag of everything uh, because we've been on a few various bits and pieces. Um, I'm not hedge cutting today, my father was actually off so he's gone away at the hedge cutting today and I'm going moving bales. Um, there's quite a few in this yard I'm going moving them from, there's probably about 200 so I'm going to leave the Volvo there for the duration of me uh, moving them which will um, make it very handy, we don't have to be running up with something to load or taking off trailers and all that. Um, so as you can see I have the spikes on and um, these are the, this is the roller grab but this is what is used from the winter is um, spikes are used on it. We made up a bit of an adapter frame there that will take the loading shovels headstock onto the um, onto the what's well, that tractor euro brackets which is um, it's handy to have it's a, it's a bit crude but it, it does its job perfect and um, it means our range of implements for this are um, a lot bigger and there can be stuff used for the tractor as well as um, this which uh, suits us because um, obviously there's no need to have two sets of spikes and uh, stuff like that. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see, it's fairly slow progress. Um, these load shovels would be the fastest thing in the world uh, when they come to a hill. It's, uh, it's, it's actually pretty good on the flat and uh, even better going downhill, which was, isn't a bit surprising but um, it will do about 40 kilometers an hour on the flat which is uh, like you're not you're not far behind the tractors if you're going anywhere it's uh, it's able to keep up which is handy um, other than that I suppose I'll probably bring I might bring the TM with me um, and I'll probably bring the shortest trailer because it just it's just a bit easier going in no gaps um, when there's no real massive need to be carrying a big and this time of year usually you're not uh, under any massive pressure anyway so the difference in carrying the bales would probably just be an actual full load in the whole stack so it's not really worth the um, hassle, I suppose you could call it, of uh, just carrying the big trailer and uh, you know wet roads and, and trying to go up hills and turn and tight yards that you might not necessarily be in with trailers uh, the rest of the year. So I think that's why we'll probably use the smallest trailer for uh, most of the winter. Obviously there's yards we know we can fit into with the big trailers, we'll probably carry them then, but um, you get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, other than that, uh, probably take the wheels off the CVX today, or I might go just really um, thoroughly getting the cleaning finished, um, clean the baler down and uh, put it away. But, uh, I might wait until tomorrow for that. Uh, main reason being, it's, it's a good day, it's a lovely day, but it pissed rain uh, yesterday and last night, and the ground was wet, and I'd be lying down on wet ground cleaning underneath the baler, and so on and so forth. So I think tomorrow is pretty fine as well, so I might just leave the ground dry a bit in the yard that uh, I won't be getting wet. Um, other than that, I'll probably be at the CVX. Um, I think you will have seen a bit of me putting on the mudguard extensions and that. Um, there's one side on there now. Stick on the other side when we get back. And paint the rims, a few decals. Um, I changed the backlight last night. There was a backlight lens cracked. Uh, that's now changed. So she's pretty much ready to go. Um, just waiting on the seat really is one of the last uh, big things to wait for uh, just waiting to get the seat back from being reupholstered and um, she will probably be at this kind of work once all that is done because uh, it'll give us a good chance to get a good feel for it and iron out any kinks 
before we get too busy um, just in case you're throwing up any major faults or any minor faults it'll give us time to um, decipher them and figure out what's going on and if need be fix the problems uh, hopefully there won't be any but you never know with these things and uh, especially something that's parked for so long um, you would be expecting some minor hiccups um, even though she spread slurry for two days and we had no problems but um, you never really know so anyway um, I'm gonna drop this up to this yard and when I'm back down going with a load I'll probably give you an update so as you can see we're loading the bales here now um, obviously using the Volvo we aren't using the small trailer because when I went down to put it on it had a puncture so I finished that one um, I've about 15 kilometers I suppose maybe 20 kilometers to go with these so not a not a very long draw um, won't be gone for too long especially with the 50 kilometer box um, other than that we when I've unloaded I will secure them down um, for the journey um, the Volvos are three lever machines as you can see here um, most machines are joystick but the Volvo is three lever and uh, personally I like the three levers um, I didn't like the idea of it at the start but uh, once I used it then um, I think it's nicer to use than the joystick machines which um, is hard to believe but um, for anyone that uses a Volvo um, I don't think anybody would use a joystick afterwards or definitely very few so um, that's a bit of a, basically about the Volvo um, I just think it's a lot nicer machine to use than a joystick control machine um, so anyway I'll stay loading away here now um, and when I'm finished loading them I'll be making my way back um, I'm going to ring the guy that's taking them to see has he a way of unloading them because uh, obviously I'm not going to be driving back with this so that's kind of my update on moving bales um, and we'll talk to you there when we get back to the yard because we'll probably be at some other project so see you then